Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Correct. Represented by attorney Jason Ernest, defendant Miro Klim appeared before District Court Judge Kimberly Wonker for an arraignment hearing on December 9th. On April 10th of this year, Klim and a pregnant woman later identified as Jade Hoogie was arrested after a low-speed pursuit in California involving Inyo County Sheriff's Office and California Highway Patrol. The gray SUV the suspects were driving came to rest within Nye County jurisdiction in which Nye County Sheriff's Office set up a roadblock at the Nevada-California state line. Nye County Sheriff's Office SWAT team utilized their Bearcat armored vehicle to approach the suspect car after they failed to exit. The standoff came to an end when officers shot at the suspect after Klim allegedly raised a shotgun from the rear compartment of the vehicle, pointing it in the direction of the officers. Klim was hit five times and was transported to Las Vegas for treatment before being booked at the Knight County Detention Center. The passenger was also taken to Las Vegas for non-life-threatening injuries. On October 17th of this year, Klim appeared before prompt Justice of the Peace Judge Gus Sullivan for an arraignment hearing. Officers that were involved in the April 10th incident testified on the stand detailing their involvement. I observed a shotgun barrel rise up in the middle of the console. Yes. You didn't see who they were shooting at at first? Um, it was just all so quick. As soon as we made contact, um, officers got out and I s just started hearing gunshots and I didn't know if it was towards the front of the, the person in the front or the rear. Clint's attorney addressed Judge Sullivan about a misconduct motion under due process regarding the protocol procedures in uploading of body cam videos by officers to a GTAC system used by law enforcement, and explained there are videos available online to what the state is going to testify against his client, but has not been uploaded to review by the DA's office. Meant that there was, I know there's protocol in uploading body cams. That's why GTAC exists. That's why there's an online database. To the extent that there was any intentional not uploading that or an intentional not obtaining it by the DA's office, then I would make a motion, a misconduct motion under due process grounds. That court hearing was bound over to the 5th District Court for an arraignment hearing. On December 9th court appearance, District Court Judge Wonker explained to both attorneys that Justice Court is operating with only one Justice Court of the Peace who is covering both Department A and B and that paperwork was not completed for the District Court arraignment. Judge Wonker also advised Klim's newly appointed attorney, Jason Ernest, to advise his client's family to stop calling the courts for information but to correspond with his attorney for any case-related questions. Klim is scheduled to appear again in District Court for a status check on on January 20th, 2023, for the alleged charges of assault on a protected person with a deadly weapon and resist public officer with a firearm.